Hey y'all, just want to share some tips I've learned trying to replace the rusted out cab mounts um, on my 1991 Chevy CK extended cab. And the extended cab, there are six mounts under the actual cab itself, if you don't count the radiator mounts. I'm only replacing the back four. Best way I've found to jack the cab up evenly is with a high lift on the back of the cab. Just hook it under the edge of the cab there um, and uh, jack it up. Yes, I had to remove my bed to do that, So, but it, it raises the cab up evenly and so you can get at all the bushings and it gives me plenty of room to get to the back bushings. So the four bushings I'm replacing are two on each side of the cab at the back here and two on each side of the cab at the, about the spacing of the rear door. Jacking it up with the high lift gives me enough access to get everything out of the back ones. And I did have to put a bottle lift on some blocks just to get a little bit more clearance to get these middle ones out. So let's look really quickly what we're dealing with. Here's my front ones that I'm not replacing. It's a five piece assembly. We call this the top hat up here, this metal thing. Then you got the top bushing, your frame bracket. The bottom bushing is rubber as well. And then you've got um, the cap and the bolts. So the frame bracket, I'm not counting, but not counting the frame bracket, you got five pieces to the actual cab mount bushing. Top hat, rubber top, lower top bushing, or I'm sorry, lower rubber bushing, lower cap, and the bolt itself. So first thing you do, put your impact gun on this bolt, and try to get it out. Um, if you're having problems enough that your cab mounts are rusting and your cab is sagging like mine, it'll probably break, but that's okay. So, like I said, here's what we got going on back here. I've got stuff out of the way. Why is your cab mount uh, sagging? Well, you can see that water and moisture, here's my new upper bushing, water and moisture gets on this surface and rusts away your frame bracket to the point where your cab upper bushing just like passes through, obviously not providing much support for your cab anymore. So the back of your truck cab sags, and that's when you get body alignment issues and looks like your frame's broken in the middle or whatever. So um, here's what I'm going to tell you. My first tip is once the bolts break, assuming you're, if you get lucky and the bolts come out, awesome. But if the, if the bolts do break, you need to get this stuff. Here's what it, this is the original top bushing in the top hat. You need to get this stuff out. And you can't just like move it out sideways because the bolt is still sticking down um, through here to some extent, you know, making it not, you can't just pull this out from the top. So don't cut your bolt first. Here's my first tip. Before you cut the bolt at all up here between the top hat and the cab, pull the rubber part of the bushing down through the bracket. If it's rusted out enough that your cab is sagging, you've got enough you can pull this thing through. Just grab it and pull the whole thing out through the bottom of this, through the frame bracket. I'm not going to do it on the video here, but pull it out. And then that's out of the way. What will be left is your metal top hat with the bolt sticking through it some amount. And, if, and maybe you'll be able to finagle this out under the remaining bolt. Or now that this is down and the rubber is out of the way, now cut that bolt, leaving as much of the bolt as you can. Why? Because here's the thing. I was able to weld a nut onto the remaining part of the bolt sticking out of the cab. And they all came out. And it was beautiful. They all came out, no matter how horribly corroded they looked and how rusted the... the bolt was by welding a nut on I was able to back these all out with my impact wrench and it took like 10-15 minutes on each time I mean it's three minutes of welding and then throw the impact wrench on there and back these things out I didn't learn that until I already cut this back one flush with the cab big mistake don't do that it's worth getting a friend to drive over with his welder and waiting a week to do this it's so much better to weld a nut on and back it out I cut this one flush with the cabs. I was frustrated. I couldn't get the, the bolt out. I didn't think about my welder. Um, and I tried to drill, thinking I'd drill it out. I cut it flush thinking I was going to drill that big bolt out as an, as an idiotic idea. 
ended up trying to tap this little hole that I ended up having in there and then the tap broke in there and it's a big pain. So what am I going to do? What if you're watching this video and you've already done that like me, you're already as dumb as I was. Well, here's a solution that I'm going to do for this particular mount. This is a Granger Liberty Mail toggle anchor. Sorry, phone videos are awful. Um, but so this is what it looks like. It's a six inch bolt with this little toggle on top. And what I'm going to do is use one of these other holes. You can see there's like these four holes up there in the cab around the broken, the broken bolts in the middle. I'm just going to use one of those other holes. I'm either going to drill out those smaller holes to three eighths inch or use one of these bigger holes that's already there to put this up in. This toggle goes this way. And then I can thread a nut onto the bottom of this thing sticking through here. So, oh, that's what I'm going to do in the back here. So what are we going to do about the fact that our bushings don't fit through here or that don't stay up anymore? They just slide through. Go to your local metal place and get one of these or four, four of these. Cost me five bucks for four of them. They're washers for a one and seven eighths inch bolt. And um, they're a two inch diameter hole in the middle. And that's exactly what the bottoms of these top bushings are. These are two inches. So we get these, you put this on your frame bracket. And now when we put a bushing up here, it will sit. It's going to be beautiful. You do um, have to either order OEM. You're either going to order OEM bushings that's going to come with all the hardware, like this top hat. Here's the new top hat, what they look like when they're not rusted. Um, or if you order the polyurethane bushings from aftermarket, you have to reuse your original hardware. So I did reuse some of these top hats. I painted them with POR 15. That's what I did here. You can see this one in my middle mount. This is one of the original top hats. It's just painted. My, I've already got my washer here. Um, yeah, so that's what uh, I'm going to do back here. Put the new top hat on. Here's what it looks like all together with that with that big washer. And this all is gonna fit up in here. And um, you know, on this back one, I'm gonna have to use a toggle bolt, but this is gonna be my solution and my cab should be fixed. All right, good luck. I hope this helps somebody out. Remember, the two tips, the two major tips are pull the rubber part out, cut the bolt low, and weld a nut on the bolt and, and save yourself the hassle of um, having to drill and tap and use a toggle bolt. But if you do break a bolt, those toggle bolts from Granger hopefully will be doing the trick for me. Good luck. Happy wrenching.